Hi everyone, welcome to Mr. Waggett's math class. Today we will be discussing congruent figures. Congruent figures, they have same size, same shape. So look at this pencil, the red one is congruent to the purple pencil because they have the same shape, same size. So how can you determine if two figures are congruent? For you to do that, you have to understand those two new vocabulary words. The first one is corresponding, and the word corresponding means matching. Look at those two chopsticks. They have corresponding parts. The tip of this chopstick correspond with the tip with the other chopstick. The bottom of the chopstick correspond with the bottom of the other chopstick, and the sides corresponds with the other with each other, which makes them corresponding sides, matching sides in location. The other word is congruent, and the word congruent means identical. And those two chopsticks are congruent because they are identical chopsticks. Let's take this into figures in math. We talk about rectangles. Here's a rectangle, A, B, C, and D. And here's another rectangle, E, F, G, H. Are those two rectangles congruent? For you to do that, you have to identify the corresponding angles in the corresponding sides. Corresponding angles means matching angles. So if I take this shape, put it on top of this shape exactly, those angles will match in the sides will match in location, and that's called corresponding. So corresponding means matching location. For you to see that, I'm going to slide this just a little so you can see which angle correspond with which angle in both figures. Angle A corresponds with angle E. Angle B corresponds with angle F because they occupy the same location in both rectangles. Now the other two. Angle D corresponds with angle H. Angle C corresponds with angle G. Those called corresponding angles. That means matching angles in both figures. Now corresponding sides. Side DC corresponds with side HG. Side AD corresponds with side EH. And side BC corresponds with side FG. The last one is side AB corresponds with side EF. So they have those are the corresponding angles and corresponding sides. Are those two figures congruent? Yes. They are identical. So if the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides are congruent, then the two figures are congruent. So let's practice with identifying whether the two figures are congruent or not. Remember, corresponding angles and corresponding sides means matching angles and matching sides in location in both figures. So look at this triangle ABC and the other triangle D, E, F. For us to determine if those two figures are congruent, we need to identify the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides first. Corresponding angles, if I slide this triangle ABC on top of this triangle D, E, F, which angle matches exactly in location? And I can tell to name corresponding angles that angle A and angle D are corresponding angles, angle B and angle E are corresponding angles, angle C and angle F are corresponding angles. Now let's name the corresponding sides. Side AB correspond with side DE. Side BC correspond with side EF. 
Now we identified the corresponding angles of the sides. Now are the angles and the sides congruent? Look at the two triangles. Side AB has three dashes. Same as DE has three dashes, that means those two sides are congruent. Side AC has one dash, and side DF has one dash, that means they're congruent. Side CB has two dashes, and side FE has two dashes, which means they are congruent. Now the angles. Angle C in angle F has that angle, or that half a circle that creates the angle, and since they only have one, that means they're telling us they are congruent. Angle A and angle D has two of those half a circle, and B, E, right angles, so all the angles are congruent, and all the sides are congruent, therefore the two figures are congruent. Now in math, we write symbols instead of words, and the congruent symbol is this to equal the equal sign with that wiggly line on top of it. And I can conclude at the end using symbols that triangle, and watch how I drew the triangle instead of writing the word triangle, triangle DEF congruent to triangle ABC. Now let's look at this example and answer the questions. The fronts of the houses are identical, and the word identical means congruent. So they already told you they are congruent. So all the side lengths will be congruent and all the angles are congruent, which means identical. What is the length of side LM? The corresponding side from the other house is CD, and CD is 32 feet. Therefore, side LM is 32 feet also because they are identical or congruent. Now, which angle in JKLM in this house is corresponding to angle D? If I slide this house on top of the other house, angle D will correspond with angle M. Now you're able to answer the questions such as what is the perimeter or the area of the front of the house using identical or congruent figures. And that's why we need to know how to identify congruent figures to figure out the exact measurement of something we don't know, such as the side lengths or the angle measures. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching.